welcome to episode 46 of the Arctic Crafts podcast. My name is Bente and I'm coming to you from Vesterol, northern Norway, where I live with my husband and three cats. You can find me on Instagram as Arctic Crafts, on Facebook and Etsy as Arctic Crafts by Bente and on Ravelry as Arctic Crafts 65. I will start by addressing the elephant in the room. As you can tell, I have a glare in my glasses. I, the picture quality isn't as good as it usually is. Uh, all this is because I'm recording this on my iPad. I'm also going to edit it on my iPad. And I'm trying to remember to look into the camera and look a bit down so the glare in my glasses isn't as obvious. So uh, this is going to be short and sweet, I think, just because I'm going to struggle editing this on my iPad. And my, I got a message yesterday that my uh, Mac is, uh, is finished. They fixed it so I can go and get it. So this is the one, the first and only podcast I'm doing on my iPad. But I wanted to do it today. I wouldn't. Uh, I was going to do it last Friday, and then I postponed it. And I have to do it today, or I'm never going to do it. So we'll start with the knit alongs because we have two knit alongs going in the Ravelry group. The first one is the year long make along with Arctic Crafts yarns. Uh, anything you knit or crochet or make weave anything with my yarn. Just put it in the thread. The other one is the Treat Yourself Mal and um, hashtag Treat Yourself Mal 2021 on Instagram. And that's for anything you make for yourself. Then the knit, uh, the knit along runs until January 31st. And I have three prizes for it. And uh, some of these I've showed you before, but now I'm showing you all three of them. The first prize is a skein of yarn and a bag from uh, Natur Hexa. Uh, and that's another thing. Uh, I don't think there will be any links to shops and stuff under this episode because of the iPad and everything like that. Uh, I'll see what I can do in YouTube when I post it. But I'm not sure there will be a lot of uh, titles in picture and picture in picture and stuff like that. Depends on um, how easy it is to uh, use iMovie, iMovie on iPad. Can you tell? I'm a big professional and I forget to look into the camera. I'm used to looking at the screen. Um, that was the price from Naturhexa. Uh, I also have a prize from uh, Fröken Petrine. It's this bag she made from uh, reclaimed fabric. And there's one prize from me. And that's this a mini set in Poldale sock in neon lights. And I can tell even though I have a glare in my glasses, the colors show up really well on the iPad. On the iPad camera. So that's the prices for the knit longs. I have uh, some more prices on the way but uh, because there there's not a lot of participants in this knit along and I was thinking three prices kind of is enough or else almost everybody would win and that would be unfair for the people that didn't win. So <laughs> three prices. So the other prices that are on the way will be saved for the next knit along because I'm going to do another knit along in not because um, there's uh, there's one of the things that are on their way to me in the mail uh, is delayed quite a lot because it's coming from England and uh, not only have they had Brexit but they also had this uh, strain of the COVID-19 so they practically shut down the entire country and what's coming is something I'll show you 
from hopefully I can show you on the next podcast in two weeks because you know uh, Michelle at Jibberu Zeus and I we have done two collaborations so far and we decided we needed to do another one and that collaboration is for Valentine's and we were hoping to be able to put out this um, this collaboration this kit on the 15th of January a month before Valentine's but it looks like it's going to be delayed hopefully not too much because she sent the bags to me I've sent her the yarn she has got the yarn it sounds like a repeat of what happened in December but um, in these pandemic times you can't always rely on the postal service unfortunately uh, and I was thinking to I would do a knit along later in the year and uh, I was thinking about Valentine's but I think that's too close to this knit along so um, we'll see maybe I'll do something on Instagram or something when uh, Valentine's rolls along. So that was my um, the prices, the knit alongs. I don't think I have anything else to talk about when it comes to that. Uh, no, I don't. So um, when it comes to knitting, since I last spoke to you, I've knit a lot since I last talked to you, and quite a lot of it I I, I went through my ravelry on the projects page to see what I had finished since the last time but then I realized not everything was on Ravelry because I often don't uh, list vanilla socks on Ravelry I just knit them gift them or pack them away in my sock uh, box or but I never rate them put them up in Ravelry and if you hear sounds in the background uh, that's because I have two cats here and one of them is kind of a uh, he wants to go outside, I think, so I didn't want to edit in this, but I might have to at least put it on pause. Uh, but what I have been knitting, the bigger projects I'm going to show you. Uh, and uh, we'll start with, if you can remember, the last podcast I showed you some yarn that uh, Sue in Canada gifted me. There was a skein of Gage Dye Works and two skeins of Hugh Loco. And I've knit. The, shawl, the shawls for both of them. This is the Gage Dye Works one. I just want to double check that I'm showing you the right side. So this is the Gage Dye Works one. Excuse the crickets. That's the uh, notification sound on my phone. And I didn't put it on silent. So this is the Gage Dye Works one. This is the Playground Shawl by Justina Lorkowska. And this is a skein of uh, Gage Dye Works that, are, that is uh, designed for shawls. So the stripes are the right, the stripes in the yarn match a triangular shawl. And that's so cool. Uh, the only thing I wish was different is I wish the stripes were the other way around because I love purples and pinks and they just, but when I wear the shawl, I can twist it so the purples and the pinks show up on the side. So that's how I wear it, so I can you can ch see the purples and the pinks. So that's the Playground Shawl by Justina Lorkowska. The other, the kit from Yuloko was uh, designed for this shawl. And this is the Budding Bluebells by Knitting Expat. And if you know me, you know this isn't my colors. The blue is, but not the green. And Sue loves green. And when she showed me the yarn and asked me if I was interested and showed me the pattern, I, I laid a cunning plan because I figured she wouldn't have bought this unless she really wanted the shawl. So I said, yes, please. Just send it to me and she sent me the pattern and she sent me the yarn and now I'm going to send this shawl back to Sue because it's not my colors I've I have been able to knit with Hugh Loco yarn that's really special to me because I can't afford buying Hugh Loco yarn so it's a win-win she gets a shawl she probably wanted 
and I have been knitting with Hulogo yarn. So that's the other shawl in my whip pile. Sorry, FO pile. And I have uh, and this FO. I wanted to knit a sample in my Arctic Sunset mini set. And, uh, and what's her name? I have to check. Uh, Susie Blackman from uh, It's a Stitch Trap designed this hat. It's, it's meant to have six minis, but I just used the yellow for the top, for both of uh, the last two sections. And I really enjoy, enjoy enjoyed knitting this hat, and I think I'm going to keep it. Uh, it now in cold when it's really cold in winter, it's probably not warm enough. But I can start using it in spring because it's fingering, and the black is um, drops merino, baby merino, and uh, uh, the other is my Arctic sunset in uh, platinum sock. I still have some in stock of that. So there's that, and I know I'm going fast, but as I was saying, this is going to be short and sweet. I have, uh, my husband is uh, parked in the bedroom, he's working from home, and he's been chased into the bedroom, so I don't want him to stay there too long, because uh, he actually lives here, just like I do, and um, I still find it awkward to talking to the camera when when he's in the room so and now I'm sitting in a different place so I kind of sit on top of him if he's here so uh, uh, these are the three pairs of socks I'm showing you I have finished other pairs some of them are already in use and some are gifted and I can't remember half of it so uh, but these are for hubby Really colorful socks. Uh, the yarn is uh, from Countess of Blaze. I can't remember the colorway, but the base is Lady Persephone socks. So that's those. Uh, and I've uh, knit a pair of... Uh, uh, Kate from Hawthorne Cottage Craft is doing a knit along where you have to knit something from one of your books. And if you're anything like me, you have plenty of knitting books that you never use. They're just collecting dust in your shelves. And I decided I have a lot of fun knitting books and I want to participate in this knit along. So I started with this pair of socks. Uh, they're from the book. I'm going to show you the book. Sorry about the noise. Uh, these socks are from this book, Op Art Socks by Stephanie van der Linden. And there are lots of really cool socks in here. And uh, this pair is called Ludwig. Or Ludwig, as I would say in Norwegian. And as you can see, uh, they're fr I made these fraternal. Uh, I had a sock kit from uh, Pixie Yarn that uh, consisted of 250 gram skeins and I just switched the colors because I used a tiny bit more of the main color than I did of the contrast color so I sw switched the colors around for the second sock but I really like the effect uh, and then I have one more pair of socks finished uh, Melinda Miser Rye Flower Knits is doing a sock club in 2021 uh, I think it's night at the movies I'll double check but anyway every month you get a pattern for a pair of socks and they're inspired by a film and uh, these are the this is the pair for January and they're called Ren and they're inspired by the movie Footloose the, it's everything has to do with dancing so this is the first pair and they're called Ren, as I was saying. And uh, as usual, she makes really fun 
sock patterns and this club was gifted me by my friend Sue in Canada because she knows I love knitting socks and I love white flower knits. So she decided to gift me this club for Christmas. And that's the perfect Christmas gift. That's the gift that keeps on giving. Every first of the month, all year, I get a new sock pattern. And I've decided to knit all 12 of them and I want to finish them in the month. So as soon as February rolls along, I'll cast on the February pair. Um, I realized that there's something I haven't brought with me. So I'll take a quick pause and go get it. So this is really professional, but you'll have to live with this. But um, as soon as I was saying, the next podcast I will be back on my Mac and the lighting will be better and you won't have to see my finger pausing the the video. Yes. Uh, the fun thing is I'm not going to show you what I was getting until a bit later because that it has something to do with cast ons. And I'm not showing you that yet, because I'm showing you my whips first. I only have two whips that I'm actively working on. I have loads of whips, but I've actually been able to finish some pairs of socks, among other things. So I haven't got a lot, that much uh, uh, whips as I had before Christmas. So some of them I've managed to finish. Um, so this is my newest whip. I've only been working with for uh, on this for two days. Uh, I have uh, come up with a new colorway for the shop called Pop Rocks. And I dyed up some uh, sock sets, 50 gram plus 20 grams. And one of the 50 gram skeins, I didn't think it got enough uh, hot pink because there are, this is what the yarn looks like, knit up. There's loads of uh, colors in there, but it's supposed to be a lot more hot pink. Speaking of hot pink, you have to excuse my nails. I'm really professional today. Uh, so this is uh, the Shell Cove socks by uh, Kay Jones. And it's knit in uh, the Pop Rocks sock set. And these sock sets are coming to the shop on Sunday at 8 p.m. Central European Standard Time. And that was, yes, that was Severus Snape. I can't get over that I didn't remove this before I started recording. Oh, I've said before that some of my episodes have been a hot mess, but today we really have a hot mess on our hands. Bear with me. Uh, then I have, uh, <laughs> speaking of hot mess and professionals, I am, of course, I am in the middle of a row on the, the next whip I'm showing you. I'm on the middle of a row. This is just getting better. Uh, this is the Lorem cardigan by uh, Amy Christophers. And the, what I have left now is, this is knit from the wrist into the back of uh, the middle of center back and then you repeat from the other side into center back three needle bind off and then you seam the underarms and the sides and you pick up stitches along the cable and knit down and that's what I'm doing now. And all I have left after I finish that is the button bands and the collar. And this is a free pattern. The yarn is uh, Drops Charisma. And the reason why I'm knitting this cardigan is because Drops had a sale on Drops Charisma. It's uh, my favorite worsted, DK. Heavy DK light worsted, and I decided to look for a cardigan that uh, I wanted to knit. And this cardigan 
and because it's a free pattern that's always a bonus I decided I wanted to knit that one I've already ordered more yarn from uh, drops that I'm going to use for an Andrea Maury sweater and I'm showing you that as soon as I cast it on and that will probably happen before the next podcast because hopefully this sweater will be done by then I have decided because I have two other sweaters on the needle so I have a love note in my own single ply and I have the may it be in Roma and I've decided I have to finish I can't I won't, I won't have more than two sweaters on the needles after uh, three sweaters sorry so uh, we'll see what I do but I'm not going to pass on a lot of new sweaters uh, the thing I needed to go get, yes, it's still several snip. What I needed to go get is this. This is a skein of Meusol on my XR Merino DK. And uh, this skein, I've snatched this skein from my shop because I'm doing a test knit for, for flower bird designs uh, for a cabled cowl and um, uh, the deadline for that uh, is at the end of March I think so the cowl won't be uh, published until in April I guess but uh, the reason why I wanted to show you the yarn and talk about um, uh, talk about uh, flower bird designs is because I uh, Oh, I suddenly realized she has uh, donated patterns as prices for the treat yourself mile. So there's uh, pattern prices as well. I think I might draw that, uh, draw the pattern prices as prices for Instagram because uh, not a lot of people have been using the hashtag treat yourself mile 2021. And if there's a pattern price you can win on Instagram, perhaps more people will use the hashtag, hopefully. So uh, this is uh, this is uh, not the professional podcast I want it to be, but because I haven't got my usual equipment, I'm doing this on my iPad. Uh, I actually was prepared, but uh, it doesn't look like it. I have a cat going crazy in the background. Um, Let's check our show notes. If there's anything I've forgotten, I haven't forgotten anything uh, except for the usual stuff. Um, <laughs> if you want to help me get better equipment for the podcast, this is really, <laughs> really a, a thing to mention today with the glare on my glasses and the iPad and everything. Uh, I have a coffee page. Uh, you uh, you find the link underneath this video. Uh, I also have um, uh, so where you can uh, buy me a cup of coffee, and by doing that, you uh, give me some money so that I can use on postage for uh, shipping out prices and uh, better equipment for the podcast. And um, uh, you can also and. I mentioned the group on Ravelry where you participate in the knitalogs. I, there probably was something else I was going to mention in this podcast, but because it's kind of rushed, uh, I, I of course was going to show the uh, you the yarn for the shop update. So now I have to take another pause and go get that. And we're back. I almost forgot the shameless self-promotion that one too. Uh, I'm just taking them as I reach them down here so they might come up in different order. Uh, this is um, uh, Kiwi Explosion uh, on uh, Worsted and I have and, not, and then we have the new colorways. I'll take those last. I'll go through the the regular colorways first. This is Maison on singles. I have uh, some uh, K 
carrot cake on the 150 gram DK sock yarn. I have, uh, and this is a new colorway, and I have it on three different bases. And the colorway name is uh, Tidal Wave, and it's uh, blue with a bit of green in it. And that's coming to the shop on single ply, gold sport. and platinum sock and the name of that one was tidal wave i also dyed up some uh, uh, chaotic good sorry this isn't chaotic good this is uh, uh, impressionist watercolor and i've called this one new year's edition because it's new year's so i call this new year's edition um, and then we have the pop rocks on all the different bases. Um, so we have the 50 gram skeins, the platinum sock with a hot pink mini. And you can see there's more mag magenta, more hot pink in these. So that's 50 grams with hot pink mini. I have three skeins of uh, Pondale sock in Pop Rocks. And I have uh, two sock sets of uh, DK sock yarn. Uh, we have the Pop Rocks with two minis. One lime green and one hot pink. And that was the selfless, selfless, shameless self-promotion. Selfless shame promotion. I need to uh, get a grip. So that's the yarn coming into the shop on uh, Sunday, 8 p.m. Central European Standard Time. And one more thing before I log off, and that's uh, um, if you want to see short little, little videos from me from time to time, follow me on Instagram because I've uh, started using Instagram TV for tiny little blocks we are only talking a few minutes at a time but i've started using that from time to time if i have something to, important to tell you or not something important to tell you so if you follow me on instagram you also get to see those so that's it i probably forgot a lot of the stuff i was going to talk about but because i'm kind of stressed and I'm not doing this on the equipment I'm usually doing it on. It's kind of, uh, I was going to say something else, but I just call it a hot mess. Uh, so um, I'll see you in two weeks, maybe before on Instagram, but I'll uh, see you in two weeks and that episode will hopefully be a little bit more professional. Thank you for bearing, all, bearing with me and welcome back in two weeks. Bye bye.